with that withdrawal in the first women's singles of the day. We're on to our third, in fact. And as Trevor said, more Canadian interest. With the 21-year-old Eliana Zhang taking on Taipei's Xu Wenxi in the women's singles up next. Well, Intanon and Katitong make for an all-Thailand clash in this lowest section of the women's singles draw. The winner to face either Zhang or Xu, whoever comes through this next match. And as you can see, just in this section, three different players from Chinese Taipei feature. Intanon on paper, of course the most likely to see it through. Zhang, another Canadian hopeful, looking to relive the footsteps of her teammate we've just seen come out of the tournament, Michelle Lee, has won this event on many occasions, a disappointing end to Michelle Lee's 2023 campaign here at the Canada Open. Let's see if Eliana Zhang can do one better. Here's her opponent for today. The number seven seed, Xu Wen Chi. And it's my privilege, my honor to have Charmaine Reed still with us. Charmaine, you've won this tournament here before, not only in singles, but in other events too. How much does it mean being a Canadian to be here in Calgary competing? Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, Calgary's a big hub for badminton as well, but uh, it, it's exciting. It's, it's one of the top, now it's one of the top tournaments in, in the world. Uh, but definitely you get that atmosphere to, to play at, at this stage. It's so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. And elevated to a Super 500 this year, as we just look at the head-to-head -head being the first time these two have met. A Super 500 tournament, we can see some of the more famous names in the game currently here this week, which is a really nice thing to, to see as well. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's an Olympic qualifying year. You, you have the top players trying to get a good seed going into it. So every tournament uh, this year is, is great to see. Um, great exposure. We have it here for four years now at a 500. Yeah, absolutely right. So 21-year-old Eliana Zhang now. She's at her highest ranking, would you believe it, in the women's singles. And uh, those numbers are not false, 210. So she's just getting into it. She's got a higher ranking in mixed doubles with her partner, Kevin Lee, which I think is around 126. She hails from Montreal in Canada. And you can see there it was a close, but a straight games win yesterday over the French Leonis Huey. 21-19 the first, 26-24, that took 53 minutes for those two games here. And her opponent today, Xu Enqi, from Taipei City. She has been ranked up at 16 in the world, she's just outside the top 21 at the moment. A two-times national champion in Chinese Taipei, joined the national team all the way back in 2014. She hasn't got a title on the World Tour. She's got nine international series and international challenge results. That's her first round. Amelia Schultz, who was promoted from the qualifiers, she came through yesterday in 24 minutes in straight games. Our umpire for this one, Catherine Lesaint. And Rena Unt, helping out a service judge.
ready to play. So Su Wen Chi's been uh, in pretty good form of late. Quarter finalist in Mulheim, Germany in March. Semi final at the Thailand Masters earlier this year to back up the quarter final she made in the uh, Malaysia Open at the beginning of the year. So that's what's promoted her up inside the top 20 in the world in recent months. Just outside at the moment at 21. And a real tough ask for the youngster. I'm going to call her a youngster, Charmaine, if that's all right. It may not be the case. But um, uh, do you know much about uh, Eliana Shang? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. She, she's get improving a, a, a ton. She has a lot of um, ability on, on the court, and you'll see her scooting up uh, on the world ranking as well. She, she hits well. She covers the court. She's fast out there. So this is a great experience for her, and, and her ranking is just going to keep going up. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we can almost ignore that kind of ranking when they're here at a Super 500 tournament. It's almost, uh, it doesn't matter. You're obviously a junior player. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Eliana Zhang, Canada. And on my left, Su Wen Chi, Chinese Taipei. Eliana Zhang to serve. Love all. Play. So Eliana Zhang with this opening serve. She's in the green at the bottom of your screens. One love. We saw earlier Michelle Lee was making too many mistakes, and especially in the first game, and uh, she started fighting back in the second, but it, it was actually too late, and uh, Nguyen played well. So Zhang now, um, so nothing to lose out there, right? She's One, the underdog. Two. She's going to be relaxed out there, hopefully, and, and play into the game, and you never know. She might uh, pull up a, a big upset. That would be nice. We were talking earlier in the week, Charmaine, about the elevation here, the, the, the height of Calgary City and that how much over. that, um, Three, that kind of high sort of uh, venue makes a difference to the speed of shuttles. Oh, it's so quick here in Calgary. We have zero speeds uh, with the shuttles coming out because uh, the altitude makes a huge difference, not yeah. just only in breathing, but also the way you're hitting. A little drift going uh, behind you here too, but you have to be careful when so you're lifting over. or clearing. Two, you can't have three. a big, big swing. It's, it's a smaller swing here in, in, with the altitude. Well, we've seen it today already. I mean, I know we're on day two, but um, not one of the games, not one of the matches has gone to three games. And that's a clear sign that, um, you know, those with firepower can hit through when the shuttles are fast. I don't think I've ever seen a tournament when three, they've used four. speed zeros. I yeah, mean, that's, uh, that's amazing. There's not many places that do. It's uh, Mexico City as, as well. Um, out in Colorado, I've played a few times up in uh, Keystone, Colorado. It's, it's even higher altitude than here. That, that, not a tournament, just for fun. And it, it's a bullet when... Uh, it comes off the racket. Yeah. So 306 Four, miles per hour, three. but uh, up in Keystone, it would be much faster. All right. It's a wonderful shot from Zhang down the line. Exactly. Changing up the um, service over for all. And what about Michelle Lee? I mean, that's a huge disappointment. She's won it here four times, three consecutive, and then last year as well. I appreciate there were no tournaments during the uh, sort of COVID period, so we had two years off, but she'll be feeling pretty disappointed, I would have thought. Oh, absolutely. She, she had contentions of, of winning here, uh, to be honest. But uh, Nguyen played well. Uh, Michelle did make a few mistakes in the first game, but, uh, you know, she started getting back into the second, but Nguyen hit and hard. So her ranking is 29, but she's a, a, a better player than number 29 in the world. And, and Five, Michelle had a four. tough battle. Oh. Yeah, and I wonder how much that injury, I mean, she fell on that ankle, I think, or maybe her Achilles or something. 
didn't look comfortable at the end of the second. No, she was on the comeback. And, and she was coming back at that time. But yeah. it's, it's that confidence. But again, Nguyen didn't let her play. So it, it was a combination of at the beginning not playing as well. Yeah. She fought her way into it and, and just a little bit too late, which is un unfortunate. But uh, Well, our teammate here, Zhang, started well. That one just drifts long, I think. There's a challenge here. From Su Wen Chi. Challenges. Called in. So Hawkeye being called into action for the first time in this match. And it must be tight. They're taking their time about it. Well, talk about building the tension. This one's taking a while. Ah, oh, they're, <laughs> they're checking it out, the Hawkeye, I guess. Uh. Yeah. I thought that was your heart beating. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Well, look at that. Just Challenge catches the back line. Successful. Could not be more perfect from uh, Zhang. One challenge remaining. Service over, five all. So Su Wen Chi's challenge and lost it. Great. So she has one challenge remaining. Six, five. That's a good smash. Finds the line. Some is over. Six all. Wonderful shots. Seven, six. Yeah, Zhang take. had the initiative initially, I think, but what a great backhand. Yeah, it takes a cross court, redirects it. Really makes a reach for that one. Eight, six. And again, that's uh, Zhang struggling on that deep. Backhand, lunge to the net defense. She does have some strapping on her right leg, her lunging leg. Yeah. Her quad or her hamstring, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's quite high up, isn't Service it? Over. Seven, eight. And in fact, there's some, um, there's some more tape, sort of more skin colored tape underneath that as well. Good finish. Eight all. She studies at McGill University, a, a great university in uh, Montreal as well. Big smash winner from Sue. Service over. Nine eight. Caught the tape. Touch of luck for Zhang. She'll take every one of those she can get. Yes, she, she's Nine playing really well. Great level. Um, she's a medical student as well, so a lot of uh, ambition. She wants to go to the Olympic Games, so uh, definitely works hard in both aspects. I wonder if she applied her own dressings to that leg, then maybe <laughs> if she's a medical there student. You go. She's 
She's moving pretty well. It doesn't seem to be bothering her. That's well read right. from Sue. Yeah, and she's trying to pick on her backhand there, as, as, you, as you mentioned, trying to hit her deep into nine. the backhand side. Eleven nine interval. Well, the lift just long from Zhang. Just two points at the break. Mid-game interval here in the first. And whilst Xu's got the advantage, a pretty good start from Eliana Zhang. Seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coaches. Eleven nine. Play. So back to the action. Plenty of words from the coaching staff in the interval. No surprise, it's pretty close. The first meeting between these two, and I think as always, just trying to feel each other out. Find a few strengths and weaknesses. Oh, what a get to the net there. Good save. Oh, it's in. What a shot from Zhang. What a beautiful shot. Takes the pace off of that. Just goes cross on that one and, and hits 10, the line with 24 11. shot rally. Yeah, longest rally I think we've seen so far, but um, blimey, she was going for, uh, for the line there. For tat there on that one comes right back, takes a Service pace over. off of that and puts it to the net. Twelve. Yeah, it's good pressure, wasn't it, from uh, Xu Wenqi, forcing Zhang's lift a bit short. Good anticipation. Just wide. I wonder, Charmaine, I haven't seen a ten. lot of action on this court yet today. Is that particularly endy out here? Is there a lot of drift? Uh, a little bit, and it's co coming by behind uh, Jane. It's going to the far side. Okay. And a little bit to the left, I would say, as well. Fourteen, ten. Every hall is a little bit different, but at the, the center court just feels... It, it changed the other day, I think, that the wind was coming towards us, and now, and now it's the other way. Yes. It's pretty warm here. I mean, obviously, we're in early July, and it's pretty much the warmest time of year for Calgary, is, if I'm right. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's up a, in... It's, it's up a bit warmer, too, sometimes. But you never know. Sometimes in July, it might snow an odd day <laughs> or two with the, the mountains, so... Well, we've had the air con on the last couple of days. It's in the sort of high 20s, um, I think, and... I think that aircon's 15, 10. causing the drift to change inside the arena. It's a beautiful arena. 15, 10. Oh, well judged from Zhang again. She's found another line. Error in judgment so for uh, Xu Wenqi. 11.15. I thought there was about to be a challenge then from uh, Xu, but she's allowed that one to go. Four points. She leads... Uh, Zhang at the moment, and that one has gone long. 
Service over. Again, on defense, if you're hitting that direction, 16, either the 11. lift has to be higher or you have to take some pace off. Yeah, I've noticed over the years, singles players in particular would prefer to play into the drift so they can really attack the corners. They, they don't like trying to take pace off. It's more difficult, I think. It, it is, but you have to get on attack then. You have to try to hit down, try to get that lift, uh, and then you can punch clear on the other ways. Sure. 17-11. Good net from Zhang. Well, there again, that deep forehand lunge just doesn't seem to be uh, reading that shot, struggling in that backhand corner. And there's been a few winners for Su Wenqi in that particular spot. When she mi mixing up her 19, serves too. Yeah. 11. You don't see too many high deep serves at the moment. That's why you get on defense right away. Her defense is solid and then there she redirects it. So she knows what she's doing. So she's well. wanting, wanting Jang to, to 12, uh, smash at her 19. and then redirects it. Yeah, it's a good change up and a good tactic. It was a good uh, length on the serve too. Able to control these. Uh, Fast conditions here. It's going wide. Service over. And the Chinese Taipei player now game point with a healthy lead four. and eight game points. And a wonderful cross net on the first time of asking. She takes the opener and uh, she really sort of ran away with the, the end of that game. It was a terrific start for um, Eliana Zhang coming through the qualifiers. But it's a tough ask against the number seven seed. 21-12 the game score. Court one, 20 seconds. So a small one, mountain to climb for Eliana Zhang, but fortunately she's Canadian and there's plenty of mountains around here. She must be used to that. <laughs> yes, she can climb. <laughs> Second game. So the change of ends. Novel. Right. And we'll see whether that brings a change of fortune for Eliana Zhang. Well, she's still sticking with the high serve. That was well in. One loss. Tough one. You don't see too many high deep serves anymore. It's usually short, and uh, maybe Zhang is, isn't really used to it. It's going wide. 
to no. be careful lifting on that side because there is a drift from right to left. So you have to bring it in a little bit more. And that's experience as well. She doesn't have as much experience mm. and uh, she'll just uh, gain with this one as well. well. It's looking pretty quick coming this way Three. as well Love. at the moment anyway for Eliana Zhang. And you can quickly find yourself a good few points behind when those conditions Four. change suddenly no. and you're not experienced enough to automatically adapt and control them. And you see it so often, younger players are suddenly, you know, competing really well and then, and then suddenly they're six points down because of the change events. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's different. Every hall is different. Every stadium is different. The drifts can be different. Uh, so you do have to adapt. TV lights, you, ha you have to watch the shuttle a little bit longer too. Even the top players will, might make a mistake here and Five. there, but uh, it is, oh. it's definitely a lot of experience. There's Artie Waranata, uh, he's a great coach from, uh, originally from Indonesia, but he's here in, in Calgary at the Glencoe Club. Won the silver medal back in uh, Barcelona at the Olympic Games. Was he not your former coach at one uh, point? Yes, yeah, as well, yeah. <laughs> I see, uh, not, you know, not that I'm <laughs> stalking you or anything, Charmaine, you know, you have to do a little bit of research Sorry, here, so even on your co-commentators. Yes. Well, yeah, great fine. player. He, he was he was diving before everybody else was diving out on court for sure. Uh, great coach and uh, yeah, I got to play some singles and, and doubles even. He's tricky at the doubles as well. Hey, I bet. Not so good on skate, so. <laughs> Shoot, really taking control of, of this game, mixing it up well. Just holds that one, so brings over. it to the net. Six, one. Now here in the arena, court number four, with a terrific start to the second game. And she'll be buoyed with confidence after taking the first. In the end, it was reasonably comfortable, but the first half of the first game, Shane was really competitive, and she's got to dig deep here. Yeah, it's these easy mistakes. You can't uh, let your opponent in that eight one that easy. Bring it in if you're making the mistakes. You have to bring it in. Sometimes bring it down the middle until you build up that confidence. Yeah, at least make your opponent find some winners. Don't give it away. And you take away the angles too. Sometimes you'll you'll see the players bringing it into the middle just to to get back into that game. Nine one. Well, there's a ton of mistakes from Zhang. It appears she was on the more comfortable end of the court to start the match. She just doesn't seem to be controlling the shuttle very well on the far side. Another's gone long. I think Eleven one that might have been eight or nine errors in a row. And a shake of the head from Eliana Zhang. Frustrated by how things are going so far in a ten-point lead at the mid-game interval. Just six minutes. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach. 11, one. Well, plenty of smiles on the coach. Right. What was going on there, Charmaine? I'm not sure. You can hear the, the crowd, actually. They're chart cheering out Artie's name when he's walking back and forth. So it's probably some of his players from the Glencoe and, and a big smile. You know, it's always fun watching Artie play too. He always had that big smile when he was on the court as well. It's nice to have these characters in the game. That's a nice shot. Oh, 
Oh, it's a great rally, and it's gone long. And that's what she needed. She needed that big, oh, there's a big smile too, yeah. Three, keep fighting, seven. keep working hard. It's hard work out there, but you need to keep fighting, and, and that's, again, that experience of uh, will take her a long way. Oh, wonderful return of serve from Sue. Yeah, it's not, not good enough, and that she'll 12, punish three. her on that one. Mm. So she's not going for the line set now, which uh, maybe already said, you know, bring it in, build up that confidence, and then you can go back to the lines. 13, yeah, I was watching three. since that break. Zhang hasn't hit as many hard shots. She's sort of controlling the attack with steady drop shots down as well. I'm trying to limit those errors, I'm sure. <laughs> and as I say that, <laughs> one, one more drifts wide or long. 14, and it is. It, it, Calgary isn't easy to play in. It, it takes... You have to think a little bit more when you're when you're hitting the shots, rather than just hitting it. Yeah. Fifteen, three. Five, four. Now we're going to be on court number two. Men's doubles. First, please welcome the technical. Sixteen, three. Your match umpire from Italy, Fabio Bento. There's a nice cross, trying to work her way in with the, the nets cross. And a big smash going. She's found another line. She's felt pretty calm and cool character, this uh, Xu Wenxi. And now the players from Japan. And the serve comes off the tape. And she's running away with this second game. That's a better attack. That's a real stark so contrast to the Four, last Super 18. 500 I was at, the Malaysian Masters, which is inside the Asiata Arena, the Malaysian Capital Arena, where almost all the games, all the matches went to three games, and everything sort of seemed to go on for an hour and a half. Everything here today has been straight <laughs> games because the conditions are so different. A bit faster shuttles, yeah, in yeah. Malaysia and, uh, and the crowd. I mean, even when you so get a big crowd, it affects the shuttle. Okay. So the weather can sh affect it, the altitude, and how many people are in a venue sometimes. So that alone, and, and Malaysia is one of the a fun place to play all the time. Absolutely. Brilliant from Zhang. She needs a few more of those to stay in contention here. So She's silver. still 14 Five, points behind. 19. And just two required for Xu Wenqi to take her place in tomorrow's quarterfinals. And again, playing with freedom now, Zhang. Six, 19. It's a nice shot, goes cross on that one. Yeah, she so forced Zhang into a tricky decision there. Match point, six. And she's forced away to match point. Just, just stayed in court. Service over, 7.20. Shot takes the pace out of that one. Oh, she recovers well, though, Sue. She's great in defense. Four. And with a double Eight. action up the line, she sees her way through this match. Eliana Zhang, I think, just kept that experience going a minute or so longer than we expected with those couple of winners, but the experience came through today. Sue when she eases her way past this young Canadian who was putting up a valiant Match. fight. One by Su Wen Chi, 21-12. And she played the game with a nice uh, spirit, I think, um, Eliana Zhang. She was, you know, with the coaches well, kept a smile on her face, kept fighting. 
yeah, it was a tough battle. She knew coming in, she was the underdog, and, and she did play well in the first game, uh, let, let it slip a little way, but Shu, Shu was on top of her game. She's uh, through with the, the seven seed to win. Well, exactly. The number seven seed through then in straight games. 21-12, 21-7 the scoreline. And she'll take her place in tomorrow's quarterfinals. Plenty more action to come. We've got more Canadians coming up next. Perhaps third time lucky. We've had uh, Canadians in the last couple of matches. And it's women's doubles against Japanese. Don't go away. Well, there's a great view of the four courts here inside the Wind Sports Arena. As we make our way through today's order of play, more Canadians in action. We've got women's doubles coming up next between last year's champions here at the Canada Open, Miura and Sakuramoto, against the recent Pan Am champions, Catherine Choi 